Hi guys, my name's Ed and welcome back. I am today I've been shopping and bought some books, so I'm going to go through them. The first shop we went to was Water Zones and I bought Assassination Classroom. This sounds really good. I'm probably going to read this in a minute, just after this video. I want to read the manga before I watch the anime, if I get around to watching the anime at all. The second book I got was Alice by Christine Henry. Um, this, look, this looks good because it's like a twist on the Alice in Wonderland as it looks like a because of how they're related. Um, so that, that'll that be a good read, hopefully. And there's a second one, which we could have spoiled herself on because she picked it up and read the blurb. I did not mean to. From the blurb of this, I'm sort of getting sleep deprivation. That's sort of what's going on. I might be wrong, but until I read it, that sort of vibe I'm getting from it. And the fourth one I got was The Watchmaker of Felgary Street. The front cover is really nice, and plus that watch is on the inside, not on the cover. I know that's really unrelated. But I like that. This is a historical fiction. The time period is 1883. And something about a man finds a watch and he's intrigued to find who the owner is. So he goes looking. She ends up being um, a Japanese immigrant. It sounds interesting. So I'll be reading this soon. It's 318 pages. But the text is really small. We'll see how long it takes me off. I hope, I hope one of these books gets me out of my slump. Hopefully it will. As this book put me in a slump. Three times now, three separate times, and I'm only halfway through it. And it's a really shame, it's a big shame, I know I'm going off track here, but it's a shame because I love the series, I love the first two books, and I hope it gets better. The next shop we went in was The Works, and I got Beneath the Lake, which is a crime fiction. Um, I love crime fiction, which I've only just realised there's a sequel to this, so if you enjoy it, I'll be getting a sequel, the text is really big. So, I hope you enjoy this one. This one was also a crime fiction. It's called Into the Woods, as you can see. But it, um, Into the Woods. This is about a house in the middle of the woods. I'm, sh I'm guessing it's some sort of murder scene. But I know it's a crime fiction. Um, it sounds interesting, so I'll be reading that sometime, hopefully, when I go and come out with slump. Which will be soon, hopefully. The next place we went to was um, Forbidden Planet, and I got... Three mangas, the first one being Mel or Moa, depending on if it's a silent H or not. It's volume 9, but it's, I picked it up mainly because I couldn't pay on card for only £2 and I couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. So I literally just picked it up um, just to bring it up to a fiver so I can pay on card. So I'm going to look on Amazon in a minute, see what, how much volume 1 is and maybe order it. And also I've got volume 3 and volume 5 of, of Shaman Warrior. Looks really good, I think I've heard of it somewhere. So I'm going to also look on Amazon for volume 1 and 2 of that, so then I can read volume 1, 2 and 3, and then maybe get 4 if it's good, but we'll see how it goes. And the last place we went to was WH Smith. Normally I don't buy any books from there because they have nothing I like, but I've been looking at this book for a while, and I read the blurb when I was waiting for my mate to finish work in um, working in Tesco and I was looking at books and I picked up this and I read the blurb. It sounds really interesting but it's not normally a book I'd read but it sounds interesting so I'm going to read it and see how it goes. Plus I've read something else by Terry Pratchett and he's a good author so we'll see how this book goes. The last book I got was the new covers for Harry Potter as I'm rereading the series. I do have, the, I do have um, one but it's really old and it's really battered and I want the new covers as they're really nice in comparison. I'm going to reread that. I've read the first one, so I'm going to reread that one sometime whenever I'm out of my slump, which should be soon. I've got enough books to carry me through the slump. Some a few small ones such as Nod is small, so I think I might start on that before I carry on with Liars because it's really, really slow going at the moment, but we'll see how we go. So that was my book haul from today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys later. Yeah.